So in this video, we're gonna go directly from DaVinci, straight in After Effects, nothing in the middle, no plugins, here we go. So you're gonna wanna make sure that your video is pretty much edited and colored the way you want it. In the Render tab, you're gonna select Final Cut Pro 7 XML. Now you don't need Final Cut Pro, don't worry about this. This is just the best version of XML that's the most universal. You can choose whatever codec you'd like. I should be using DNX HD since I'm on a PC. If you're on a Mac, ProRes is probably best. But just for a simple quick video, I'm gonna use H.264. It might be helpful to turn off unique file names just so that you can reference your original footage to this footage and know exactly which shot is which shot. So what you wanna do is find a folder or create a folder that you want all this to go into and then just go ahead and render that. So what this will do is it will render out every single clip as it is. So there's several different clips and it's gonna render an XML file. So now we're in After Effects and what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to File, Import, Pro Import After Effects and this will let you open up XMLs. So you find where you created your folder with the XML for the project, and you open up the XML. Boom, it's gonna bring in a timeline and it's gonna start importing footage. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your timeline and what you're gonna see is that there are tons of layers because each clip needs its own layer. That's the way After Effects is laid out. So, as you can tell, you can check out the previous video where we talked about the workflow for this. But generally, what I like to do is to save space, is I will cut up the timeline into 30 second to 45 second increments and create smaller sections so I can delete a bunch of empty space and have them all way more condensed and work on fewer work on smaller timelines for each section. So I hope this was useful. Go ahead and give me a subscribe and a like. And if you have any questions or if you have any difficulties, please throw them in the comments. I'm trying to be a resource for everybody. So let me know how I can help.